Well, hello you. Now, after a relatively quiet spell with the sun, we did get a cracker of a flare and CME this afternoon. Some of which we actually managed to capture on our own live stream. Now, a powerful solar flare did erupt from active region 4086. It was classified as a X1.2 flare and uh, the blast started around 325 UTC and it peaked nearly uh, at 338 UTC so it lasted about 20 minutes. Now this was the first X-class flare in almost two months. The last one was on March 28th. Now given how quiet uh, the sun has been recently a uh, few people have got excited it's good to see but should we expect any aurora or radio blackouts as a result of this uh, flare. So let's have a look in more detail as to what happened and we'll look at some of the images particularly from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. So first in the video uh, you're watching that's from our own live stream we have a LUNT 50mm solar telescope which we try to use to stream every day weather permitting of course and this video is sped up about five times so we managed to capture about half an hour uh, now uh, what you're looking at now is an actual image of the sun from NASA's SDO and you can see that AR4086 is actually on the right hand side the west uh, limb of the sun now that's the culprit who gave us the filler this afternoon this is another SDO image and it has caught the CME in action. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this started about 323, uh, 325 UTC and peaked uh, about uh, 13 minutes later and then decayed and was over in about 20 minutes. So relatively quick. It was a short, sharp event. Now, some smaller flares can only last for only minutes, while larger ones can take hours uh, to complete. So this was on the quicker side. And this little video, it's a time lapse of SDO images from this afternoon. And it gives a nice view of what it looked like. You can see the bright flash, the spiraling loops of hot plasma shooting up and then falling back onto the sun. So uh, here in the solar explosion, you have billions of tons of gas and magnetic fields suddenly snapping uh, and uh, unleashing all that energy. So in terms of scale and side effects, as we said, it was an X-class flare, one of the more powerful ones, X1.2. In practical terms, that could mean that there may be a brief loss of high frequency radio signals. However, because AR4086 was on the limb of the sun, most of the X-rays and EUV uh, light were, would be uh, leaving the sun at an angle. So any radio blackout should be very localized. Now, uh, will it give us any spectacular aurora or geomagnetic storms probably not again because of the position of the flare when it happened uh, there was very little uh, material actually sent towards earth so no one is expecting uh, any great action uh, earth side of, from this event and without a CME hitting us we don't really expect any real geomagnetic storms and forecasts are actually quiet to mild conditions for the days ahead. So while the sun has been relatively quiet over recent times, it still has the ability to throw the odd surprise at us as this flare has uh, shown us today. No one was really expecting it. Uh, that active region was just going out of sight and pa passing away. So uh, there you have it. Just a quick dive into this little uh, piece of action from the sun today. It was good that we did catch it on our live stream. As, do join us. Uh, we try to stream every day with our little lunt. Uh, it was good, always good to look at the sun. Good to see this flare. Good to see the CME. It was a nice and strong solar explosion. 
uh, but also reminded that you know uh, in terms of the solar maximum some people say we've passed it or we're just about to approach it there's still a lot of action from the sun before we head and get into the real solar minimum when the sun will become a lot quieter than it is at the moment so stay with us in this channel keep uh, please do join us on our live stream we we'll want to hear from you check out our other uh, social media links and we'll see you next time thank you